Hey guys, in this video, let's go ahead and take a quick look at a couple different uh, ways we can merge two meshes together. So for example, I have a cube here that is kind of a, a low resolution and I can uh, dial this down to uh, show you. So right now it's 98 points, so it's super low. I'm going to uh, delete the higher uh, levels and what I want to show you is if I wanted to merge this with another mesh, so for example, if I hold on the control key and maybe drag another copy, maybe make it a little bit smaller, and let's go ahead and just intersect the two. So let's say I want to combine these two. How do I do this in uh, ZBrush? Well, uh, normally one way of doing it is just, uh, let's press control and drag to make sure nothing is a mess. So normally what you do is you click on DynaMesh and that will merge the two together, right? So currently we have 196 uh, points and you can see what that looks like. But if we use DynaMesh to merge the two, uh, even if I crank up the resolution and do DynaMesh, uh, you can see what's happening. Uh, the connection makes um, things look kind of uh, wobbly. So if you're doing a hard surface modeling, sometimes this is uh, very undesirable because this is not a clean connection. So what would be a uh, another way of doing a clean connection uh, between the two? Well, uh, let's go ahead and dial this back down. And let's take a look. So instead of pressing DynaMesh, another thing you could do is now keep in mind again this is uh, 196 points for both of them right so um, let's say I don't want to turn this into super high resolution to maintain that clean uh, connection uh, so another way of doing it is you can go to move go to uh, settings and then go to remesh by union and when you press on that um, Oops, I actually had my uh, symmetry on. I don't want that. So I'm going to say remesh by union. And you can see that uh, the connection has been made between the two. And it's still uh, maintaining its lower resolution. So now I have 194 uh, points. But if I turn this off, you can see how clean the connection is. It didn't do any of that wobbly stuff. And if you want to uh, commit to it, you can just say accept. And now these two boxes are actually one uh, solid mesh with the connection that looks like this. But the cool thing about using um, this approach is that your lines will maintain their sharp, clean uh, look. And this is great for uh, heart, uh, heart surface, uh, things like robots and spaceships or any, any, any hard surface where you don't want things to look super wobbly and sort of uh, messy and unpredictable. So a quick little uh, trick. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.